This is a WISN 12 editorial with President and General Manager Jan Wade. A school bus accident weeks ago sent several kids to a Milwaukee hospital. While in Chattanooga late last year, a school bus driver was charged with vehicular homicide as six young children died when their bus turned on its side, slamming into a tree. Could a seatbelt have saved them? That's the question many are asking as support for seatbelts in school buses is growing. Most small school buses are required to have seatbelts, but Janesville is the only school district in our state requiring them on larger buses. Only six states, in fact, have enacted laws calling for belts on buses. Wisconsin is not one of them. So what's the pushback? One of the main reasons is statistically school buses are relatively safe. Experts say on average six children are killed in school bus crashes each year. Opponents also say the cost of installing the belts is prohibitive and argue the difficulty of making sure the kids buckle up or could quickly unbuckle to escape in case of a crash. But seatbelt advocates are gaining steam, saying that a new $70,000 bus lasts for years, adding that over the lifetime of that bus, the cost is pennies a day. They also question why the driver wears a seatbelt if the bus is so safe, yet the students don't. This leaves some parents wondering, can we really put a price tag on the safety of our children? To me, six children dying each year on a school bus is six too many. Let's get the belts in the buses. I'm Jan Wade.